Hello. Sorry to bother you, but there's a huge tree in the middle of the road, and I won't be able to go anywhere until it's moved. I was wondering if I could use your phone. I am afraid our phones have been put out by the storm, and there are no other houses for miles. But no one should be driving around on a night like this. Won't you come in? The least we can offer you is a warm bed for the night. Well, I certainly don't want to impose. It's no trouble at all. Come, my friend. My name is Boris von Blair. And this is my wife, Sarah. Hank. Hank Jennings. I want to thank you two for your hospitality. It's our pleasure, Mr. Jennings. We hardly ever get visitors. At least, we hardly ever get visitors like you. The pleasure's all mine, I assure you, Mrs. Von Blair. Let's have a quick drink, and I'll show you to your room. Oh, Mrs. Von Blair, you startled me. I didn't see you there. Uh, once again, I, I can't express how grateful I am for your hospitality. Mrs. Von Blair? The storm's over. Boris went out to tend to the graveyard. He does that a lot at night. He won't be back for a while. Then it's just you and me, Mrs. Von Blair? Call me Sarah. Do you have a moment before you leave, Mr. Jennings? I'd like to show you something. Certainly. You see this, Mr. Jennings? What is it? These are the souls of the damned, Mr. Jennings. <coughs> they don't sound too happy. That's because they're tormented. Tormented by the terrible deeds they've committed. And tell me, Mr. Jennings. Have you committed any terrible deeds? No, I can't say I have. You're quite sure, Mr. Jennings? You haven't done anything that will haunt you with guilt and regret? Not that I can think of. Very well. Do you know where Mr. Jennings is, dear? I wanted to say goodbye to him before he left. He's in my study, darling. Hank? Hank, darling? You thought you could fool me. Thought I would never suspect. No! No, Boris, darling. I don't know what you're talking about. Come now, Sarah, dear. I saw the whole thing. You betrayed me. No! No, it's not true! Tramp! Darling, please. I'll do better. I'll be better! Well then, my dear, all is forgiven. Now why on earth did you go in there? There is a valuable lesson to be learned from this, and I hope that all of you out there heed it well. For those of you who feel the urge to do something despicable, and suspect that you'll get away unscathed, don't try lest you too become one of the damned.